Hi guys, this is Hai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about CSS Flexbox. So in this video, I'll target this Flexbox and how it exactly works in our CSS. Now let's understand by using some set of properties of this Flexbox. So let me quickly jump into another slide. So here you can see there are some set of topics which we need to cover in this video that is nothing but main axis and cross axis. Whole flex box will run behind this main axis versus cross axis. So you have to know what is main axis and what is cross axis how they work and later you need to understand all these properties like display justify content flex direction flex wrap flex shrink all these properties we have to learn in this flex box so let me go into one more slide where it gives a glance of understanding main axis versus cross axis for example you have a direction and you are maintaining the flex box in a row direction then your main axis will always be in horizontal way where always find the main axis in which direction it is now it is from left to right and hence the cross axis will be from top to bottom that is perpendicular to your main axis in the same way whenever the direction of your flex is column wise then the column will be your main axis that is the vertical direction will be main axis and horizontal direction will be cross axis so remember this diagram this diagram helps you how to create and how to manage your layouts by using flexbox so let me quickly jump into visual studio code and we'll write some set of code to understand all these properties so here let me create two things always remember it contains a parent container and that container is called as a flex container and each and every sibling inside that particular container is called as a flex item so now what we'll try to do is we'll try to create a container first so let me create a container and let me mark it as with a class called as container and let me go here into the css and create this class called as container and now what i'll do is i'll try to create small small boxes for us so let me go with a div and let me create this as a box and copy this put it over here here save this and all these box i'll just decorate with some set of background and a padding so that it will look in a easy manner to understand so first let me decorate this container one so let me give a container with a border of one pixel solid black and save this now i want to go with the background color of light green or so and i'll reduce a lot of this color so i'll go with a picker and i'll pick some value which is very light and now what we'll do is we will create some set of boxes and the boxes will have a border of one pixel solid and let me mark it as gray and let me go with the background color which is of some light gray color or light cyan anything you want but i'll go with the light gray where i will be picking more lighter version of this yeah and now let me save this and let me create some set of individual classes for each box box one or you can mark it as item one copy this item two item three so let me mark it as two and three now let me copy this and put it over each and every class so box has a common properties but each and every item i'm making some other different properties so i'm making a minimum height of i'll go with 50 pixel of minimum height and let me copy and paste over here here and let me go with 100 and then let me go with 150 so these are my different types of heights which i have given for my items that are flex items so let me go to the browser and see the output for this so let me refresh this and you can see there is a stacked content which came in now what i want to do is i want to add some set of padding for our container so padding which is of 20 pixel and save this and refresh this now you got a padding what i want to do is i want to make this tags into horizontal way so i will target my main axis in horizontal direction from left to right for that sake what i'll do is i'll add a property called as display flex when i do display flex by default the direction of each and every item will be from left to right and that will be looking something like this so everything it came very near so what i'll do is i'll try to add a width for whole boxes so let me go with width of 200 pixel and save this and just refresh this now you got 200 pixel for each box now already we have applied a property called as flex and this direction is something like a row 
that means each and every row the default direction of your flexbox now what i want to do is i want to give a space between each and every box for that sake what i can do is already it is in flex so i can give something like column hyphen gap so because each and every box is in the column column wise and i want to give a space in a column wise i want to give space between these two so then i can go with a column gap of 20 pixel and save this so now each and every column will be divided and it gives a 20 pixel of space so that is how we can use a column gap and now i have targeted only the flex direction in row manner so i'll explain all the properties which are related to the row so now what we'll do is here there are different ways to manage or to align this particular boxes so for that sake what i can do is i can use something called as justify content and the justify content will always follow via main axis so main axis is from left to right so we have to give the justify content now let me give the justify content as center so as it is from left to right it will be centered from horizontal manner so let me go here refresh this now it is centered horizontally and in the same way i can give right side and save this refresh you can see the right side but there are some special properties which helps us to handle our justify content for example i want to go with justify content like a space around so it will create a space around each and every item and it creates an equal space between these three and in the same way we can go with space between so it will create a space between them and it starts at starting of your flex so let me refresh and you can see it started at the flex starting and it equally divided and even when we go with evenly then it will evenly divide the left side right side of each item so let me refresh this you can see it has some space here some space here and if you see them it is evenly divided and if you shrink this for example if i inspect now the layout has been updated and it is just moving all the items in parallel and even at this time also the space between each and every item is same and it is evenly divided so let me go here you can shrink how much you want the table you can see the content is getting string and the content is getting grown over here so this is how you can use your justify content and the flex behavior is like that whenever you string this one it comes near when i when you make it big it goes back so that is how you can do this now for example i have some set of boxes like this let me go with a sample number of boxes over here save this and just refresh this now you got all these boxes if i go and increment this now i have incremented save this i didn't reload it the shape of the boxes will get string let me refresh now you can see there is a change in each and every box that means it got string so whenever you are trying to add number of items or your number of items grows then your flex will string so to avoid that we can use something called as flex wrap so flex hyphen wrap and i want to give a wrap for that so it divides to the next row so let me go here refresh this if you see it divided into next row and as we are using space evenly it is looking something like this but if you want to go with space between and save this and just refresh you got a proper output where it has only three at the bottom and it has five at the top but each and every box width did not reduced so that is how you can use your wrap and if you want to give a gap between the rows then you can use row gap of 20 pixel again if you want let me save this and refresh you can see there is a gap between these two that is rows so whenever you want to give gap between the rows you can use row gap and if you want to give the gap between the columns you can use column gap but before that it should be a display flex so that is how you can use your flex wrap and row gap in your containers now the case is let me revert all this and i'll use only three of them let's understand only with the three boxes let me save this and refresh now if you see you got all the spaces and it got evenly divided or space between has been divided let me comment this let me go here and refresh it comes to the starting but what i want to do is i want to occupy the remaining space 
with the third item so this item should not wait for anything it should occupy the remaining space then in that case what we can do is just go here add flex grow with one and save this and refresh now it got everything that means it will try to fetch 200 pixel and it will check whether it has any space or not if it has any space immediately it takes all the space for example if you go and give for the flex grow for second item then it also starts grows and this will be divided into equal parts but if i give one and one for example let me refresh this you can see it these both has been divided into equal parts for example if i go with more for third that is flex grow for two then refresh you can see this one is 200 pixel this is bit more and this is twice of this whenever you give flex grow more that box will be expanded more when you give flex grow one that will be less and if you don't give flex grow it always go with the default size which is provided by your box that is 200 pixel now this flex grow will work with the width of the given box for example if you don't want to consider that given box then you can go with flex basis and the basis is zero so if i give zero pixel then it will not consider this width at all let me go here and refresh and you have flex grow let me remove this and show you something here let me refresh now you can see the third one is just looking like a line why because it doesn't have content and it is not having any value for example if i put some content over here this is third box then it will take from zero and till this extent only let me go here and refresh and you can see only it is taking that extent so if you want to override the original width of that particular box then you can use flex basis and if you put that flex basis and flex grow it takes the width from zero and it calculates whatever the flex we gave accordingly it divides everything and we can use flex grow and you can even use string as well for example i want to remove this and remove this as well along with this so save this now let me go with flex shrink so i want to shrink one and save this so let me reload so you can see it is in a normal way and it is not shrinked up so let me go here and you can see there is a wrap happening over here why because of flex wrap let me remove that wrap as well save this go here and refresh now let me go here now if you see the shrink is happening on the item 2 so item 2 will have more shrink so if you don't want to apply any string on item 2 then go with string of 0 and go here refresh this and just drag this so you can see first and third one is getting string but the middle one is not getting string because i gave the middle one as 0 so when you give the second box as 0 then the flex shrink will not allow you to shrink that particular box and it will shrink only the remaining boxes so if you apply this flex shrink for both one and two then only third one will be getting shrinked and the first one will never shrink so that is how you can use flex shrink in your application now let me save this for example if i want to align this whole content in the center for example then let me give a height for this example it is already taking around 150 is the maximum height so i'll go with the 300 pixel of height which is a main container let me go here and refresh now it is stretching all the way for example this is 300 pixel and the height minimum height is 150 whatever i gave and this is 100 this is only 50 but they are shrinking and they are stretching whole the height so now what i want to do is i want to set them in center vertically so whenever you want to set them vertically align when the main axis is from left to right then we can use align items center and save this now go here refresh now all of them took as usual heights for example this i gave 50 100 and 150 so that is the height they took and they made the flex direction or the vertical direction from center for example if i go with start that is flex start then it starts from the top so it took from the top and it started from the top and end it will be reverse of the start let me re reload and you can see this is something like flex end and align items will work always vertically for your main axis so the main axis is from left to right in this case that's why it is working fine if you rotate this or if you change the direction of your whole content then the flex box will 
have the different approach. For example, let me go here, comment this, save this and refresh. Now you have a height of 300 pixel. So let me remove the height as well. And now what I want to do is I want to change the direction. So before changing the direction, I'll show you the output. Let me go here and refresh. Now the output is something like this. Now I want to change the flex direction. So let me go here, apply flex hyphen direction and the direction is column. Let me save this, go here and refresh. Now you got a column based. And if you see, I didn't apply any align items but it applied the justify content whatever I have used. So if you see the justify content whatever I provided that is nothing but justify content center. Let me use this and refresh so it is not applying anything and now what I'll do is I'll change this to align item center and save this refresh nothing happened so everything is working as expected whenever the direction has been changed. So now the case what we need to understand is I want to change all these items this way into the center so in that case what I can do is I can just go and change align items and save this go here and refresh now it moved to center because the main axis is in this from top to bottom and hence it will act perpendicularly to that main axis or you can say simply cross axis it works for the cross axis hence the cross axis is from left to right the align items worked as expected to move the items to the center now what we'll do is we'll apply some height and save this go here and refresh now what I want to do is I want to apply more for example 600 pixel and save this go here and refresh. Now if you see the justify content is not applied on this. So let's go and apply our justify content and remember this is in vertical manner and hence the justify content will be applied on the main axis. So justify content will always apply on the main axis hence let me save this now main axis is from top to bottom hence it will be aligned vertically center. So now it applied vertically center because my main axis is from top to bottom in this case. So we can use this flex direction to change the direction of your flex items. Now what we will do is I'll just name three of them. This is first box and this is second box save this go here and refresh now we got the names for it i want to change the order of it so for example i want to put my second one at the third so order there is something called as order where i can put three for this so it will go and settle down at the third position i want to give order as one over here and order as two over here so at the place of two you should see one at the place of three you should see two and at the place of one you will see three so let me go here refresh you can see this is third box first box and second box you can change the order of your items by using a property called as order property and that has to be applied at your flex item classes or CSS properties so that is how you can use your flex box shrink for shrinking purpose if you give zero for shrink it will not shrink at all and by default you will have a shrink of one and if you want to give a flex grow of one it will just start growing and even if you don't want to grow that you can give flex grow of zero in that way we can give all the properties but always remember flex box layouting is bit confusing so try to understand how main axis and cross axis works for a revision i will explain you how main axis versus cross axis works main axis is something like whenever you are applying the flex in row direction then horizontally the main axis will be available whenever the main axis is available justify content will be applied on the main axis and align items will be applied on the cross axis this is the funda which you have to remember and if you go to the column the vertical way will be main axis so justify content again it acts like a vertical and whenever you go to the cross axis it is from left to right that is horizontal manner and if you want to apply some set of alignments you can use align items on the cross axis so always remember main axis and cross axis which way it is going based on that you can apply alignments 
either justify content or align items and flex grow flex shrink they works as expected in both the ways if you are shrinking in the top manner it applies for the top if you shrink left to right it applies on this left to right so that is how the flex box works in css hope this gives you a good understanding of flex boxes and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll if you have any questions put in the comment sections that's it for this video hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you